What's good guys? It's your girl Dayburger here again with another lipstick tutorial officially for LimeCrimeMakeup.com. Um, I met the PR over there and they were nice enough to send me over a bunch of goodies after I showed them the last lipstick video. So I'm really excited because I have a fun holiday look I'm going to give you guys and another look I created all myself. So I'm going to start with Cosmo Pop. And I love Cosmo Pop. I wear it pretty much every day. It's by Lime Crime. It's like a peachy orange. If you can see that. And I'm gonna put this on. Okay, I love this peach. It's very peachy, very natural, very fun. So you start with the Cosmo Pop. We got this light issue happening again. We don't want it too bright. There we go. So here I have on the Cosmo Pop. And I'm going to just add some red on top of it. Not too much. And I'm just going to take a red liner and go on top of it. I feel like I'm working backwards in this mirror. <laughs> And I've just created like a holiday cider color. Pretty, right? <laughs> Let's try to get that light back in now. Ta da! Mm, I like that one. It's very good for holidays. And if you really like more in the spirit, just put a little more red on top, it gets a little darker red. So, this is the mixing techniques I taught last time. In my other uh, video. So I'm just, you know, going over it. Add a little more red. And there you have it. Holiday cider. And now, I'm going to show you one more look. That was inspired by my hair. As you guys can see, my hair is blue now. I like it. hope you like it. <laughs> Got the wipes on deck once again. <laughs> And we just clear that off. And we got a new palette. Work. So, the next one's really fun. I came up with it yesterday. And I'm going to call it the mermaid lip because there's nothing else to, like, explain it better. And I will be using all Lime Crime because they love me and I love them. Look how cute the tubes are. And if you want to pull this look off, you go to www.limecrimemakeup.com. You can get all these colors there and try to pull off the looks I pull off. And then you can RT, post this, reblog all on Tumblr and Twitter. And maybe it could be a trend. Who knows? So, this one's a little tricky, so you got to pay close attention. I am going to start with Meant to Be by Lime Crime, as you can see. It's an awesome green. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fully put it on. I'm going to spot it. So what I did was, as you can see, is just kind of randomly spotted the green on. If you can see that, yes. So it's almost like a camouflage effect. You just kind of randomly blotch it on there. Then I'm going to follow up with my Countessa Fluorescent by Lime Crime, which I have used till its last <laughs> drops, but I'm still using it. Um, and I'm just basically going to kind of fill in the spots that I miss. Kind of, You kind of see what I'm saying? Fill in where you didn't color with the green.
get inside the lip, everywhere that you kind of miss. So you see I have a pink and purple whatever going. And then I'm going to follow up with a favorite from last time. No, she didn't. It's a blue, awesome, awesome blue by Lime Crime. And I'm basically going to take the blue and go kind of over where the two colors meet. Kind of, you know, mixing them together a little. Like a third polka dot almost. And concentrating on spots you miss, like really try to fill in those spaces. Okay, so you have a colorful tie-dye effect happening, but we're not done yet. But the hard part's done. That was the hard part. I just want to shout out everybody on Tumblr and Twitter and YouTube and Lime Crime and everybody who loved the first uh, tutorial so much that I'm doing a second one and I feel really excited about it. So, I'm going to tell you how to finish up this lip. I'm going to take my pinky, first of all, and kind of just go over it, giving it a final finish. Whatever you do, don't. Rub it in there, like, no. The point is to see just hints of the color. This lip is fierce, first of all, if y'all are really getting it, like. And I'm doing it in the computer, like. This is good. This is good stuff. See, you kind of just... The pinky's your friend. I have almost an iridescent thing happening here, as you can see. Just from putting the colors on and not rubbing them in. Try not to purse your lips together too much either because that'll uh, affect it. All right, and to sum it up, I'm going to take a red lip liner and kind of just line the outside so we don't lose the shape. The lip liner kind of seals the deal. And being that it's red, it gives it an extra hue. That just kind of wasn't there before. So, get a good line going. All right. So, this is what the lip is looking like. And as you can see, I'm actually a mermaid. And if you get into it from different effects, you kind of see a little bit of each. But just to finish it up, I'm going to take the green. Meant to be. Meant to be by Lime Crime. <laughs> and just kind of just go over it a little. We don't want to lose the green in it because... Or the blue because that's what makes it so mermaid-like. And for the finale, I just kind of really blotch it with my little pinky front here. And here you have it. <laughs> the awesome, cool, kind of tie-dye, wonderful mermaid lip. Like, I did that, and you can do it too. Just follow what I just did. And I got to go to work now, and I'm feeling like a luscious mermaid. So let's do it. And don't forget, go to uh, www.limecrimemakeup.com. Yeah.